Well, these are serious, serious uh, allegations, and we are treating them seriously. Let me make a number of points clear, if I may. First of all, the Liberal Democrats as a party have done nothing either improper or illegal. This check has not been received, it's not been accepted, it's not been banked. And until any of those things would have happened, there would have been rigorous checks in place, as there are for every donation. Secondly, it is neither improper, indeed it is both common practice and commonplace, for donors of all parties to meet with senior officials. That's all that took place on this occasion, and any suggestion that anything other than that happened is wrong. As for Mr. Taguri, on the partial information, I do have to stress it's partial that we have. The Daily Telegraph has not released the tapes. It's very clear there are serious questions to be answered here. It would be quite improper for us to investigate this further. That needs to be done by a third party. We will place all this information in the hands of the appropriate body, the Electoral Commission. Mr. Taguri has made it clear he makes himself available to the Electoral Commission. I invite the Daily Telegraph to place their tapes in full, not partially, before the Electoral Commission. We will abide by any determination that they make. And the particular allegation that appears to be the most serious is the suggestion that people should split their donations up between family members to remain below the 7,500. You invite me to speculate on what went on. I cannot do that and I won't do it until we see the entire... We don't know the context, we don't know what other points are made on the tape. This, and a judgment, a proper judgment, I mean, I, I'm saying that there are serious questions to be answered here, but a proper judgment as to this can only be taken in the round when all the information is taken. It can only be made by a third party. Quite improper for us to be investigating this further. Uh, so that's why we We've handed it over to the Electoral Commission. We invite the Telegraph to do the same thing, all the information. They can make the judgment. We will abide by it. If we don't yet know the full truth, why has he stepped down as a candidate? Because he feels, and I think rightly, that it's better for the party and for himself that he steps down until such time as uh, the Electoral Commission has made their judgment. He asserts his innocence in this matter, uh, but he puts aside uh, his own career in order to make sure that there's space for the judgment to be made in a proper manner. He's uh, been a, a very good candidate, but that has nothing to do with the outcome here. The outcome is a matter now that will be judged according uh, by the body independently charged to make this. I'm not going to prejudge that in any way whatsoever on the basis of partial information. It has to be made by the Electoral Commission and those the, that's the appropriate body and we will uh, enact any decision that they take. Are you confident Danny Alexander has done nothing wrong? I'm absolutely confident that Danny Alexander has um, been contacted with and has spoken to a donor. That's commonplace in all in all political parties. There is nothing wrong in that. I'm very clear that no further uh, action was taken and anybody who suggests that, that there is is just wrong. And just the last question, as a party you've attacked other parties over donations, you've always acted as if you are squeaky clean. Do you accept that there are things you have to look at within the Lib Dems? Look, I wouldn't be taking this this seriously if there weren't serious questions to be answered here. But, you know, all parties hit problems. It's how they handle those problems. We've handled it swiftly, decisively, and handed this over to the body charged with investigating these matters. We've made it clear that we will abide by the decision that they take.